Dr. Urban Rusnak, uh, you're here again at the Press Club. Uh, you're the Secretary General of the Energy Charter Secretariat. Today you've been speaking about how essentially energy security can help alleviate poverty in Africa and elsewhere. Can you tell us about that, please? Well, we very much believe in the Energy Charter that uh, to reduce energy poverty and hence the poverty in general, we need a more investment, more investment in energy, in power sector, in oil and gas, and this will come mostly from the private sources. So to, to provide that the security of those investments is a key element to be solved in, a, uh, in, in Africa in particular. So we very much believe that uh, accession uh, to the Energy Charter Treaty uh, from the African nation will be a part of the solution. Of course, uh, it's a quite a complicated and complex process, so it should be started somewhere, and we, we are offering to the nations in Africa to join the International Energy Charter to sign this declaration, which will provide a gateway for them to the Energy Charter process, where they could learn more, could get familiar with the Energy Charter, with the conditions, and um, the benefits what they get, get later from the eventual accession to the treaty. You say it's a little bit complex. It seems complex to my mind. How exactly does energy security alleviate poverty? We very much believe that without uh, energy security, uh, you couldn't have energy development. And energy development is essential for any kind of development in health, education, uh, economic activities, all that are linked to the modern form of energy. So you couldn't go to school with, if you don't have uh, electricity. You couldn't get uh, a proper health care if you don't have uh, electricity. You couldn't go and to transport your stuff uh, to the market if you don't have a transportation, if you don't have roads. Again, you need a fuel, you need an energy. So the energy is the key for the, energy, for the development uh, everywhere in Africa as well. Mr. Awakwe Azikiwi, in your position as Nigerian energy expert, I understand that uh, your country has benefited greatly from being a member of the Energy Charter. Is that correct? Yes, we are an, in, we are, uh, an invited observer, so basically we are just trying to find out the benefits of uh, the treaty. Ah, so you're not yet a member then? Do you believe there's a very good chance you'll become a member? Yes, I believe there's a very good chance because uh, the principles of the treaty is what we want to put in place in Nigeria. So it's beneficial to us to become a member of the, the treaty. Your, colleague, uh, your colleagues have spoken about the benefits that being a member of the Energy Charter bring. Do you feel that energy security would bring benefits to Nigeria? Definitely. Energy security will. And like we discussed earlier, it's going to reduce poverty. And uh, with reduction of poverty, you have a happier country. You know, so th the essence of having energy is, is just to, for, for there to be development, provide jobs for people to, to have access to information. If, if you don't have electricity, you won't be able to be able to go online and even see things. So some of the basic things that are required all over the world right now, you need electricity for you to be able to do that. So Energy Charter will be something that will help us and it will give us access to funds from several countries without us having to sign different treaties with different countries. Once you sign one treaty, you're connected to all of them. So it's, it's a very, very important thing and, and will benefit immensely from it.